deadly tanker crash in 2014 put Cal Fire in a dark chapter when it comes to fighting fires. Not only did they lose a veteran pilot, but they had to operate without one of its main aircrafts. But tonight, the agency is getting their fleet back to full service with a new air tanker. So, what's being done to get the plane ready for the upcoming fire season? CBS 13 Sharin Merge is live at McClellan Air Park getting answers tonight. Sharin. Adrian and Tony, it took Cal Fire some time to find the right aircraft. It's an S-2, former military plane. There's only 100 of this model and manufacturer in the world, but they finally located it. They've been working on it for the last two months, literally building it from scratch. Veteran pilot Craig Hunt was killed while flying his tanker over the Dog Rock fire burning near Yosemite's Arch Rock in October of 2014. A lot of emotions flow with that because it represents a rebuilding of what he stood for. And now, fellow pilot Barry Lloyd says while they continue to mourn his loss, it's time to rebuild. Our rebuild of, of Project X, which is going to be our replacement tanker, represents a rebuilding for all of us. Cal Fire typically has a fleet of 23 air tankers, each critical when it comes to fighting fires. When we lose one, it puts us at a little bit of a deficit that must be filled in by other aircraft. This aircraft will, is being completely rebuilt. Cal Fire's Daniel Berlant gave us our first look at the body of what will soon be their new aircraft. We've got to put a tank in the bottom so we can fly retarding. We've got to replace the engines. Our mechanics have been working to uh, strip it, to clean it. With an expected busy fire season around the corner and dry conditions, Cal Fire has already seen 600 fires just this year. So you can see this is tinder dry. I mean, this, this will burn, you know, very easily. They've assigned special mechanics solely to this project in a rush effort to get their fleet back on its feet. We're standing inside the shell of what will be this new air tanker. A lot of love and hard work is being put into here. Parts from here and there, new engines. And where I'm standing right now is where the retardant will be kept. And since the rebuilding of this new air tanker is being done in honor of pilot Hunt, it makes sense why they're now retiring his tail number. That tanker number was identified with him. It always will be, and it wouldn't be appropriate to assign it to somebody else. It was pretty neat to actually see the building of this air tanker. Now, there's a long time that's not a work that's not needs to go into it. About two years before completion, a couple million dollars. In the meantime, during peak fire season, if need be, they'll contract out to make sure that they're covered. A lot to get prepared ahead of fire season. All right, Sharin Roger reporting live for us tonight. Sharin, thanks.